Okay, so in this video we're going to uh, make it so when you click you actually spawn a missile and then it travels to your most location at the time of the click. Uh, so let's just go back into Unity here. Uh, we'll just move this old script into scripts. And first thing I'm going to do is just grab, I guess we'll use this blue one. We'll move it to regular sprite since we're going to use it. Just add this in, we'll call it player missile. Set it to probably about half size. Yeah, that's good enough for now. And then we'll drag this into prefabs to make a prefab out of it. And let's add a script and then we'll call it player missile. You know, player missile controller just to make it say exactly what it's gonna do. We'll open this. And first thing we'll need to do is we need a position. So we'll do private vector two, we'll do target. And then target, we're gonna want it basically wherever your mouse is when you click. So we'll do target equals, uh, we'll need mouse position, but we have to convert it into the real world instead of just the, the screen. So do camera dot main screen point or screen to world point. So this will convert it from the screen position to a position in the real world. And we'll take in input most position. Okay, so that should get the actual position we need. And then we're gonna need to move it towards that position. So first thing we'll need a speed. Uh, we'll serialize this so we can change it in the inspector. Uh, right in the prefab to tweak it. So we'll just do, I'll yeah, just do speed. Yeah, you know, I'll set it at five for now. Okay, and then for the actual moving, uh, this will be really easy actually. We may tweak this later and make it feel more smooth and stuff like that. But uh, I think this should work pretty good just using move towards. So all this will do is move it from uh, we just got to put in the current position and then where it's going to move towards, which will be the target. And then we'll do speed times time dot delta time. And I think that should work for that. So let's try this first before we move on. I always want to kind of test each thing that you make. Okay, so it, it worked. It just went to the start. So you know what? We got to actually change that. Um, actually, no. That is exactly what we want. We don't want it to update every time. Uh, okay, so that's actually good. So you know what, let's get rid of this prefab. Uh, I didn't make any change, but we'll apply it just in case. Delete the prefab. And we're gonna need the actual missile launcher. So you know what, this is the one we're using for now. So let's make this a prefab. And we don't actually need to add any script or anything for now. Uh, we just basically need it for a position. So I'm going to use this cursor controller we already have. And we'll use this to do the spawning since it's kind of keeping track of our mouse already. Um, so what we'll need to do, we'll do serialized field. We'll need a game object, which this is going to be the missile. So we'll call this missile prefab. And before we forget, we'll go and actually move this in. So we just take the player missile. Okay, and now we'll have to do on click. So let's do if input dot get mouse button down zero, which will be left click. We will do, oh, you know what, we're also going to need uh, we'll call this uh, missile launcher prefab. So we're going to need that so we can get the position of where we're going to spawn the missile from. So we'll just take this and drag that in there. And then this way this will have a reference to this actual object in the scene anytime we need it. So all we gotta do is instantiate. Oops. Uh, we'll 
do missile prefab. And we're going to do it at missile launcher prefab dot transform dot position. And then rotation doesn't really matter, so we're just going to use quaternion identity. That basically means no rotation. If we actually make a missile object later, uh, we'll have to change that because we will have to give it real rotation. Okay, so now it's launching to them. It's a bit slow, we'll have to tweak that, but you can move around. Send your missiles. And that is looking pretty good. Uh, so that's the start lot. You know what? Uh, we'll leave that here for this video and then we'll keep going on in the next one.